Hey guys, so I collaborated with Sleek Hair and I came up with this really awesome Lodi makeup and get ready with me video. So let's get right into it. So first up I'm using this Mona Kadar eye primer and I'm placing it all over the eyelid. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe, um, this is the 35C palette. It's really nice because it's super colorful. I'm going to show you guys in a second which colors I'm using on my lid and my crease. Um, but this darker pink color I'm putting into the crease and sort of blending it all the way to the brows. And then I'm going to go in with a even darker more of like a fuchsia purple color and I'm gonna drag it out to the corners over here so that you can create almost like a winged liner look um, that's gonna really help us with the liner that we're gonna place down later so this is the morphe palette that I was talking about it's super pretty it's got tons of colors so that's the first color placed on the eyelid then this one in the crease and then this one right over here was in the um, right in the crease where I created that sort of winged liner and now we're going in with this darker almost black color and I'm gonna just place it right into the crease. I'm creating kind of like a line. Um, if you don't have a super fine tapered um, crease brush, you can always use like an eyeliner brush and then just smudge it out a little bit later. But see how I'm following kind of that curve at the outer corner? I'm basically just following the shape of the crease, a shadow that I had placed earlier, but I'm just sort of intensifying the whole look. And now I'm going to place some sparkles on my eyes and the ones that I'm using are by Eye Candy. They're called their Sprinkles and it's the color Double Bubble. It's so beautiful. Now before we do the brow highlight, I'm just going to do my brows. I'm using the Morphe Brow Palette, which if you guys haven't tried this, this is amazing. It has every single color and the color payoff is really, really nice. It shows up really well um, and I like that it actually stays on the eyes really well compared to other... Um, brow products that I've used uh, that are powders, they kind of sort of um, smudge off pretty easily, but this one stayed really well. And now I'm just throwing some highlight under my eyebrows. Next up I'm going in with the Sigma Gel Liner which I had never used before but I actually really love this product a lot because it's super dark black so it makes your eyes pop really well and I'm really loving the Sigma um, eyeliner brush too. It's angled and tapered and it's super super fine so you can get that really nice um, super crisp edge at the tip of the wing. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some underneath my eyes as well and stay super close to the lash line. And I'm creating a double uh, wing liner. So wait until you see what we do here. Basically at the edge, I'm just gonna drag it out a little bit further so that it sort of mimics the top liner. Oh yeah, you definitely need a bit of a, a very steady hand when you're applying that. Um, but you can definitely do it and if you make any mistakes you can always use concealer to clean it up. And I'm smudging that bottom liner out a little bit with that black shadow that I applied in the crease. Now I'm throwing on a bit of mascara just to get my eyes ready for the lashes. And the lashes that I'm applying are from LA Splash Cosmetics and they're super, super beautiful. I believe they're from their Hollywood collection. Now I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm using the Monica Kadar Concealer Trio and I'm going to um, conceal under the eyes and then I'm going to drag it out to the corners of the eyes here just to clean up the eyeshadow and make that look pop a little bit more. Now I'm applying my highlight. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige under my eyes um, and I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting down my nose and on my cupid's bow and in the center of my chin and when it's all mapped out it looks pretty funny actually. But don't worry I'm blending everything out.
Okay, I'm gonna now go in with um, the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation, and I'm applying it to um, most of the areas of the face except for where I'd placed the highlight underneath the eyes. Um, I don't wanna darken that too much. Uh, but this is a really nice foundation. This is my first time trying it, and it blends really nicely, and it gives really good coverage as well. And the color range is really nice too, so if you guys haven't tried it, give it a try for sure. Next up, I use the Monica Dar Dual Powder Foundation in C3 under my eyes. And I've wanted to try this for a while because I've seen Crispy use it in her videos. And it always makes her look so nicely highlighted, which it definitely does the trick. It's such a gorgeous powder. Um, all of these products are available, by the way, at sleekhair.com. So if you want to get any of them, you can definitely check out their website. And now I'm applying the Sigma Powder Bronzer in Nightlife to my jawline and to my forehead as well. And now I'm using the Contour and Blush Palette um, from BH Cosmetics. I'm using the contour color under my cheekbones first, and then I'm going to use a smaller brush and contour my nose with it as well. And now from the same palette, I'm using the blush that's in the top right hand corner. And just a warning, these blushes have really great color payoff. So you definitely want to use a little bit. I kind of went in and it was a little bit intense and I had to tone it down a little bit, but it's a great uh, blush palette for sure. And now for the last step, lips, I'm using the LA Girl Matte Pigment Gloss in Rebel. It's such a beautiful color. You guys have to try this um, product for sure. And it lasts so long. Like this color was on my lips all day long. All right, and that's it for makeup. And we're gonna go on to hair. I straightened my hair out a little bit with the Croc Turbulon Titanium Classic Straightener. And a little tip when you're straightening your hair, just do it section by section and kind of give it a little bit of a turn at the end. And it gives your hair this really nice separation and pieciness to it. All right, so my hair and makeup are done. And then I just went in and put on an Indian suit. Um, this one my parents brought from India. It's really nice. It's got some red and purple on it. And I wore these really nice red earrings. And that's the look, and I hope you guys have a great time at your Lodi parties. See you next week with another tutorial. For the gloss, I did use the MAC Ri Ri Woo Lip Gloss. Like I said, you guys could skip this step if you really want to. So that was my Christmas makeup tutorial. I hope you